We're talking about natural immunity, right? So they're mandating jabs. They're mad. Now they're coming out the boosters. They're telling kids to get vaccinated. Having SARS-CoV-2 once confers much greater immunity than a vaccine. That's some science magazine. Israelis who had an infection were more protected against the Delta coronavirus variant than those who had, had already had highly affected COVID-19 vaccine. Isn't that something? And so here is Dr. Liar, Fauci, Dr. Pathological Liar, corrupt, uh, corrupt criminal in the pocket of Big Pharma, Dr. Fauci, who will never tell you about Medicare for All, which would have saved 200,000 lives during COVID. He'll never bring that up. Why? Because he's a tool of Big Pharma. He's corrupt and he's not there to help you. He's there to push an agenda. So now the agenda is mandates for vaccines. And now if you already have natural immunity, why would you want to get a vaccine? Here's what Sanjay Gupta asked him and listen to his answer. There was a study that came out of Israel about natural immunity. And basically the headline was that natural immunity provides a lot of protection, even better than the vaccines alone. Um, how, what, are, what are people to make of that? So, so as we talk about vaccine mandates, there are, I get calls all the time. People say, I've already had COVID. I'm protected. And now the study says maybe even more protected than the vaccine alone. Should they also get the vaccine? How do you make the case to them? You know, that's a really good point, Sanjay. I don't have a really firm answer for you on that. Well, I'm going to mandate it for everybody anyway, right? Because my boss is at the uh, Big Pharma tell me to. And it's gotten so bad that even Bill Maher is pushing back. Now, there isn't a bigger... I mean, this guy's a... He's a right-of-center Democrat. At best, you could say he's a centrist, but he's not. He supported Amy Klobuchar. He, I mean, just... Come, <laughs> he's, he's, his his a lot of his politics are out of touch and a joke, but he has some principles that are never out of touch, and so and when he sticks by them, they're good. They're very uh, efficacious, and so here let's watch. But we're not done until the world is safe, and we're not safe as Except a world until the world's back. So that guy just got done saying we're not safe until the world is vaccinated. You are never going to be safe. From COVID, no matter how many people get vaccinated, you are never going to be safe from COVID. You are, in fact, if you're watching this and you're alive for five more years, you're going to get COVID no matter how many booster shots you get. That's a fact. So everyone's going to get it. So this idea that he's pushing, which comes from big pharma, that if enough people get vaccinated, we can get rid of COVID is a lie. That's not true. It's never going away. It will circulate like the flu. And you can't get rid of it. And everybody's going to get it. How do I know everybody's going to get it? Well, because Dr. Robert Malone told me that's Virology 101 on the show. Also. Biden's director of COVID response said so. Biden's director, Andy Slavitt, said that no matter what, you are going to, everyone is going to get COVID. They don't advertise that. Why? Because if they did, more people would be vaccine hesitant. So they can't let you know the real facts because Big Pharma owns them all. And listen to what Bill Maher says. <laughs> The world recognizes natural immunity. We don't, because everything in this country has to go through the pharmaceutical companies. Natural immunity is the best kind of immunity. We shouldn't fire people who have natural immunity because they don't get the vaccine. We should hire them. Yes? Yes. <laughs> His audience doesn't yeah, know. He don't, they don't know what to do. His audience <laughs> is like, wait a minute. We're supposed to be... <laughs> I don't know. Am I supposed to clap huh? or not? What? Is that... He's exactly right. We shouldn't fire people who get natural immunity. We should hire them. He's exactly right. And these two and this idiot doesn't know what to say. If someone <laughs> tests is having antibodies. Well, OK, but but, you know, people who've had it, I've had it. Right. You know, I, I mean, I shouldn't be tested anymore. I, the I mean, vaccine, if someone's I got willing the... to be a fireman, if someone's willing to be a policeman, if someone's willing to go into a burning building and says, 
I'm just not that afraid of COVID and I don't want to take the vaccine. That should be enough. He shouldn't be losing his job. He shouldn't be furloughed without pay. The guy that saves lives because he doesn't want to take a vaccine. It's ridiculous. And just a little messaging. I mean, I see it all the time. I saw it driving in today. People outside alone walking with a mask. It's so stupid. It's 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 an amulet. Yes. You know, yes. Some, a charm people a wear scapula. around neck yes. to ward away evil exactly. spirits. It means nothing. I mean, can't we get people to understand the facts more? I mean, listen to this. Um, for unvaccinated hospitalization risk, unvaccinated, 41% of Democrats thought it was over 50%. So, oh, so realize what he's saying. They did a Pew did a poll. And Democrats, for over 40% of Democrats thought that if you get COVID, the chances of you going to the hospital are 50%. That's what Democrats thought. That's what he's, this is what he's talking about. Almost half of the people who identify as Democrats thought that the risk of going to the hospital from COVID was over 50%. He's going to give you the real number. Unvaccinated. Uh, Eric, hang on. He's gonna. That. He's gonna. He's gonna find Hospitalization it. Hospitalization rate for the vaccinated is actually 0.01 percent, and the rate for the unvaccinated is 0.89 percent. So in both cases, the correct answer is less than one percent. They thought it was over 50. How do people, especially of one party, get such a bad idea? Because they're watching CNN, MSNBC, which is owned and funded by Big Pharma. That's why. Why? How do they get such a... And they also have been manipulated by their political leaders and their news media establishment to see the vaccines and COVID as a culture war. That's what they've been led to believe. And it's a way to dunk on your opponents. That And so now, of course, they want to think that. So if you get COVID and you're not vaccinated, your risk of going to the hospital is less than 1%, 0.89. If you are vaccinated, your risk of going to the hospital is 0.01%. So it goes from 0.01% up to 0.89%. Now, to me, that sounds like less than 1% of a difference. Some people will look at those numbers and say, Jimmy, that means that unvaccinated people have an 88 times greater chance of going to the hospital. Well, you could look at it like that. I tend to look at it like less than 1% chance. You can say you have an 89 times greater chance of being hospitalized. You can say that if you want to treat, take the most grandiose framing you could possibly take. Or you could say it's less than 1%. To even be hospitalized. Now, do you feel like you've been a victim of a fear campaign? Do you feel like you've been a victim of a fear campaign? Hospitalization, less than 1%, and we shut down the goddamn entire economy, and how many people killed themselves because of depression over that? How many suicides were created by that? How many broken families were created by the lockdowns? Which is, this, which is, what we, which is why the WHO warned against doing that, and they did it anyway. So that's quite a stat. 0.89% of people who are unvaccinated who get COVID end up hospitalized. Okay, more Bill Maher. Where did that come from? Where did that come from? I find it very interesting that you see how Bill Maher is like so close. <laughs> like he was like so close to getting it, right? <laughs> because he's like, what's happening here? He's like, why are Democrats so misled on this issue? Because CNN, MSNBC, the New York Times, and the corporate media lies to them. So I don't understand why these guys do not stick with the knowledge that they just, like, if you understand that CNN and MSNBC lies to you, then this is why you don't repeat stuff like Russiagate. Right, Bill Maher? Because if they lie about you about this on this issue, they're going to lie about you on everything else. And that's the key thing that I, I thought was interesting. Like, you're so close to getting what we as leftists been saying. Don't listen to the neoliberals' uh, uh, corporate media. 
So here's Black in the Empire says the agencies funded by Big Pharma and the politicians funded by Big Pharma are on the news networks funded by Big Pharma, giving you the information for why you should trust Big Pharma. <laughs> and again, I can't stress this enough. Not one critique from the left on this. Bill Maher. Bill Maher. And now and this show. All right. And we, oh, we got, of course, we have the people over at Gray Zone and uh, Professor Richard Wolf. Good thing we didn't give people health care in a pandemic. Talk to your doctor about any questions you have about the vaccine. I'm an American. I can't afford to talk to my doctor. Yeah. <laughs> How about that? Uh, vaccination protects it. Oh, th and now watch, then watch all the confusing things they've said about this. I mean, it's isn't it amazing we can go uh, through a once in a century healthcare pandemic, and we still don't get healthcare. Uh, vaccination protects against COVID nineteen more strongly than previous infection does. Bullshit. Studies confirm waning immunity from Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine. People vaccinated against COVID-19 can go out without masks indoors and outdoors. Uh-oh, CDC update says recommends vaccinated people wear masks indoors. Vaccine protection against COVID-19 wanes over time, especially for older people. Single Pfizer vaccine shot provides strong protection for those who haven't had COVID-19. Wait, J&J &J vaccine recipients should get their second dose as soon as it's available. Three doses of COVID-19 vaccine are likely needed for full protection. Immunocompromised may need a fourth COVID-19 shot. Uh. Why vaccinated people dying from COVID-19 doesn't mean the vaccines aren't, aren't effective. I wouldn't believe anything I heard from CNN, NBC, CNBC, MSNBC, the New York Times, the Washington Post. I would scrutinize everything you're being told from them, especially when they're quoting government sources. As we all know, we have regulatory capture. We know that the FDA gets at least 46% of their budget from the people they're supposed to be regulating. I've heard stats of 70%. We know there's a revolving door with the FDA and Big Pharma. We, I know that the guy who was the head of the FDA for two years now sits on the board of Pfizer. <laughs> that should be illegal. Anything you'd like to say, Nick? Yeah, this is exactly why I constantly say the United States is the most propagandized country in the world. Like, I would love if we had a media that would trust it were. And, and I think a lot of American people, I think they think the same thing. They will. They want a media where they can get real COVID information. You have a lot of the liberal group think that is disgusted by the idea of ordinary working class people doing their own research. But you have to. You have to go to watch independent media channels get the, get the truth because it was flat out lied to you. And this is why I always want to warn people. They will lie to you for their profit motive. And when you see how much money that they are making with the vaccines and you see how they are lying, uh, using hysteria to get people uh, to fall in line on their agenda, it makes you very uh, uh, skeptical. So that's why I never blame uh, people if they make a decision I personally don't agree with, but it's because they just don't trust the government and the narrative that coming out because you expose them for their lies and people see it. So let me get that full. This is the full Bill Maher video, I think. Because you know, like now they want us to do all boost these boosters we were talking sure. about with Andrew. I mean, I don't want uh, that's I, Look, I never wanted the vaccine. I took one for the team. <laughs> and that's and by the way, you know, who doesn't get a lot of vaccines. The millennials. I know a lot of millennials, especially the 20, 20 year olds. They don't I, want it. They don't want it. They don't think they need it. They're probably right. But I tell them I didn't want it either. I took one for the team. But a boost. But every eight months, you're going to put this shit in me. I don't know about that. Maybe I don't need one. I don't want a one size fits all. My body may be different than your body. Yeah, I lost you, man. That's 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 crazy. Look, my body is, isn't different. Everybody's body isn't no, somewhat different. No, I just read the statistics stop. about who you're, dies you're, from this. You're, you're trying to be cute and you're rolling I'm the dice. I'm not trying to be it's, cute. It's, no, no, I know I'm in your house. I don't want to. I don't want to step <laughs> over the line here. But but genuinely, genuinely, people's lives are on the line, and just and exactly. just as significantly, just as significantly, our very way of life is on the line here. It's right. very important that people fear, fear, fear. 
fear, our way of life, the human life. Is, 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 is. Like there's a nuclear bomb heading towards us instead of a virus that 99 point fucking whatever percent people survive. We get vaccinated. It's right. very important that we express I trust I took in our one institutions. For the teens. Right. Yeah, I'm saying uh, get absolutely. vaccinated. But if there if there's a need for boosters, particularly particularly absolutely as the as the evidence is showing amongst those who have underlying conditions, uh, amongst the the elderly, so on and so forth. Correct. It's important that they take them, and it's important that they trust those who are urging. Yes, it's important that the elderly and people with underlying health conditions get vaccinated. I agree with that. That's where it should stop. You certainly shouldn't be vaccinated kids. And it's going to circulate forever. So. Them to okay. Do it. okay, but you just said underlying conditions and elderly. Mm -hmm. I don't count myself either. So well, is I, my body different? Well, can I make could I have some medical autonomy? That's there. Look at Bill Maher talking about having some medical autonomy. Uh, and I think the Democrats are, again, uh, miscalculating on this one. Uh, they're playing to their shit lib base because they're sufficiently scared. And the rest of the world wants to get on with their life. The rest of the country is ready to get rid of this. I was just in Florida. They're done. They're done with this. They're, they're going to, if you get COVID, we'll treat it. Uh, we have monoclonals. We have other, now they just found out fluvoxamine, which I've been taking since May is a very, uh, good treatment against covid uh so there's lots of there's there's treatment treatment now plus i have my vitamin d levels up i have my zinc levels up um so we're set uh i'm with him i want some bodily autonomy and if you want a vaccine you should get a vaccine because it'll protect you your vaccine doesn't protect anybody else and that's why mandates are crazy and they're nothing but a big push but just propaganda from big pharma to put money in their pocket and vaccinating children is nuts. Fucking nuts. Uh, go ahead, Nick. Yeah, once again, I saw the the vaccine code. I saw a lot of the, like the liberals. They was like uh, talking about how they volunteered their kids for vaccine trials. I saw a few of those tweets, and they, they were cheering her on. Do, do you guys know how crazy that is? That there's people that was using their kids as government. Guinea Test? pigs. Yeah, guinea pigs, yes. And for the for the vaccine and the liberals in the comments, I was looking at it, they were cheering around like, Yes, you're so patriotic. This is amazing. No, this is this is crazy. Yeah. Like this is crazy. And and once again, I have been anyone who watched my coverage on this, I've been consistent. Like I just want the truth. I just want what was best for the public good. And when I see like the lies and when I see the cult level thinking, I don't I don't think they really care about what's for the public good. Like, I just don't like yeah. and that's the that's the uh, vibe I think a lot of people have when they see these people like that, that guy that Bill Maher talked to. He has no answers. There's no answers to like basic stuff, like basic questions, because he's trained to think a certain way. These people are not intellectuals. They are trained in Washington group thing for their for their team, because the other team is guilty as well. They just train their orthodoxy. They, they're not intellectually curious. Anyone who's intellectually curious is asking people stuff like the immunity that Fauci and them they can't even answer. 100%. I want to let you know, on November 6th, we're going to be in Baltimore. November 11th, we're in Tempe, Arizona. November 12th, we're doing Los Angeles and Studio City. November 19th, Los Angeles and Studio City. And then Thanksgiving weekend in Portland, Oregon. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all those tickets.